Hello everyone, uh, welcome to another session in the deep learning series. Today we will actually take up an example, uh, take up an example network. Uh, we will basically initialize the weights and bias with random values. We will fix the input and output values. Uh, and we will basically calculate the forward pass across each layer. And uh, calculate the gradients, calculate the errors and back propagate across the network as well and I think we will consider the same network here uh, whatever the network you see over here we will consider the same network so this is basically your input layer and this is your first hidden layer so all of, all of these weights uh, the all of these weights basically i1 weights basically all of these weights weights i1 j1 i1 j2 i1 j3 Similarly, the other weights as well uh, will randomly initialize, uh, and yeah, we'll, we'll basically consider the same uh, network architecture. Hidden layer is basically for this particular hidden layer H1, you have ReLU as your activation function. For your hidden layer H2, you have Sigmoid as your activation function, and your output is basically your softmax layer, right? So, over here. Uh, Again, we'll sort of randomly pick the input values as well. Yeah, so whatever input values you have, we randomly pick. We randomly assign the input values. So this would be your, I would say, this would this would be your input values. Your input is basically 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.7, and this is your node uh, i to j weight matrix. Uh, so you have i1, j1, i1, j2, i1, j3, i to j1. So this is your uh, node. Uh, i j right this is your node i to j this is this is the node i to j weight matrix and uh, all of these values are randomly assigned okay then this is your node j to k weight matrix okay so these values as well are randomly assigned next is your uh, node k to l weight matrix this is k to l k1 l1 k2 l2 k3 l3 right so even these values are randomly assigned here this is the basic output and here the error metric which error function which we are basically using is something which is called as cross entropy uh, so this is i think if you remember this is similar to what uh, we had used in logistic regression as well it's the same thing so yeah, so let's start with the forward pass. So forward pass is where? Forward pass is now you're basically, you have the input values. Now you're basically moving to the first hidden layer, right? So over here, what would basically happen is, uh, yeah, consider this particular uh, structure, right? So this is your layer one. You move, you're basically calculating H in H, I in one, H, I in two, H, I in three. H one, I in one, H one, I in two, so. Right, so yeah, basically what would happen is uh, uh, you have your input values i1, i2, i3 you would basically multiply this is your randomly initialized uh, weight matrix which we just saw these are your uh, again randomly initialized biases you basically take a cross product of each one of these and add to your bias correct so that is basically what is your h1, in1, h1, in2 and h1, in3 right now after you get this, after you get this, basically what you do is you pass it through your uh, activation function. So the activation function for the first layer is your ReLU. And yeah, you basically take maximum of those values. You, yeah, this is basically what the first this thing. So this is, so what are values we get from output of activation function is basically our output one, output two and output three. Okay. So this is the first layer forward pass. Now basically what we'll move on to now is your basically your layer two. Yeah, this is basically what the values is. Uh, so you have 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.7 as your inputs. These are your randomly assigned weights. These are your biases. So after you pass this, this is the values. And after you, since your activation function is ReLU, these are your outputs. Yeah, now, now we'll basically look at the layer two. Right, so layer two is nothing but uh, now you, what you are basically doing is from H one to H two. 
hidden layer 1 to hidden layer 2 your forward pass okay and this is your input uh, i think for now since i want since the input to the hidden layer 1 is done now our focus is basically on this particular layer from this layer to this layer is what our focus is correct so again it's the same conceptually it's basically the same thing right previously whatever you saw right so these are your inputs you multiply with the weights add to your bias after that you basically pass it through your activation function and so conceptually it would it is the same what would change is so this one right this one for this layer right for this layer this one is your input and uh, whatever weight matrix you are randomly assigned you multiply with that and add your bias here one point to note is the activation function has changed here the activation function is basically sigmoid right now we'll basically see a calculation of that as well um, so now you can see so h1 out one h1 out two. so these so this is nothing but this is your um, input from the previous layer this is this is basically output from your previous layer correct that's what's conceptually if you basically understand the first two layers right it's the same only conceptually nothing much changes only the corresponding uh, outputs you need to replace you basically need to replace the values that's it and your activation is sigmoid sigmoid is 1 by 1 plus e power minus x so previously since it was relu right so relu formula of relu is max of 0 to x whatever values you had is just directly took a maximum of that but over here since it is sigmoid uh, you need to actually calculate your um, you basically need to pass it pass the inputs through sigmoid to get your output again conceptually is just the same you're just replacing it with your numbers uh, 1.4 so these are the randomly assigned weights these are biases correct and so yeah so basically cross it's a basic matrix multiplication you multiply this with this this with this this with this then you basically add the biases so this is the value which you get after your uh, initial uh, cross product plus addition of bias the next you basically pass each one of them through the sigmoid layer correct now you basically pass each one of them through the sigmoid to get your final output and what this is right h2 output 1 h2 output 2 and h2 output 3 is so what this basically is this is basically output of your hidden layer 2 correct now basically what would happen is output of this hidden layer 2 is passed through your final output layer okay so this now now basically what you have calculated over here correct that is basically output of this what you want is what as in what we want is we basically want output of this final layer correct now again the same thing uh, you basically take h2 output 1 output 2 into a randomly created weight matrix and bias correct so, so conceptually again conceptually it's the same thing only thing is you need to change your values so after you got your uh, what values and weights you basically substitute it uh, these are your weights so these are your weights and these are your values uh, so final one thing is so this is your inputs now basically what you do is you basically pass it through your softmax function so softmax basically what is softmax is um, this is basically softmax suppose you have three values correct uh, basically what you do is you take the exponential of the first one uh, divided by the sum of everything correct because your three inputs your input for softmax is basically this correct so input of this one sorry your input of softmax is basically this particular uh, row right o in 1 o in 2 o in 3 yeah. so softmax of e to the power of o in 1 by summation of everything e to the power of o in 2 by summation of everything e to the power of o in 3 by summation of everything that is basically what is this one right so now you have got your actual values now you basically what you need to do is you need to basically calculate your error uh, error or cross entropy since you're using cross entropy uh, you just calculate this so it's nothing but if it is one log of that 
if it is 0 1 minus log of uh, the value so this is basically the formula for cross entropy again again all of these have been discussed in quite detail in logistic regression uh, example uh, we can just directly calculate the value of your cross entropy right so this is the forward pass right so now basically what has happened is you have basically moved from here to here here to here here to input to h1 h1 to h2 and h2 to your output right so this is what is called as forward pass right now i think now is where the main part comes in now is now now is where the back propagation part comes in right so that's what i think we'll discuss in the next session thank you